Yeah. 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 So, I think it's a Zion Sif test. So, in Sif Zion, the Machaba said, Hatzad, Nechashem, Vakravim, someone who captures snakes and scorpions, Vishabis, Vishar, Ramosim, Hamazikim. A very important word to spoke out then, that they're massive people, they hurt people, they damage. In the Rafua Chayv, we're capturing them for Rafua because the Bemina and Nitzayid, so it's Chayv, it's an Esad Araisa. If it's because they shouldn't bite you, Mutter. And why is it Mutter? So we spoke out there because it's a Malacha, Sha'in, it's Rikha the Gufa, you're not capturing it because you want the animal, you're capturing it so it shouldn't do damage to you. And therefore, we hold that it's Mutter, we spoke at then, the Mongol Avram speak, speaks out, even according to the Rambam, it'll be Mutter because of Misasin. But there it says that the Nechashim Akravim, which are things that do damage, it's a Molochash and it's Richa the Gufa, and therefore it's Matter to capture it on Shabbos if you're doing it in order that it shouldn't damage you. Now in Sif Tess, the Mechabah says, Parosh, which is like a little uh, mm-hmm. a flea or a fly, whatever it is, some type of a flying insect. Hanikra Baragus, the Russian Arabic. In Arabic, it's called the Baragus. Also, the Tsaidai, you now that I capture it. El Imkain, who al Basarai, the Oiktsai. Only if it's on you and it's biting you already, then the latter capture it. The also the hard guy, but you're not allowed to kill it. So, before we get into this halacha, we spoke at originally with Stasi Zion, there's three different levels over here. I'd like to go through it again quickly, and then we'll understand the Sif much better. There's a Sif Yod, we're going to speak about animals that are mamis. There are Vade mamis that ki- they kill people. And they will see soon, the halacha is over there, you'll have to capture them, you'll have to kill them yeah. in Shabbos, Koch Nefesh, everything is mutter. That will see in Sif Yod. Then you have another two levels. One is a level of the Choshev Akravim, which are animals that are mazik, they damage you. That means exactly what it means to damage. It's not spoken out in halacha, but Akhrein say it means if it, you have to treat it. It means if you get a bite from these animals, it needs, you have to treat it, you have to put a medication. That's called damaging. Yeah. It's not a sakana, it's not something that's in the you can die from it, but it's something that's mazic you, it damages you. How about damaging your property? No, I will not see. Probably not. No. But the no. eventually no. the result damaging might be. Damaging property is not a head to anything. Oh, so ants, carpenter ants or something that no, are destroying th- your, your... You can't do anything about it on Shabbos. Yeah. Not on Shabbos, but let's oh. say during the rest of the week. Like, are there bali- there's, there's no bad problem. problem. Yeah, you can, no, yeah. So there's no issue. No, no does damaging mean uh, to you meaning an immediate cause and effect, or could be one of these that come in Like, it has a long-term effect. In other words, not going to kill you right away. long-term effect. Any damage. As long as you can trace yeah. it back to the original. Yes. Any damage is uh, is this, is the next level. So what about and animals that carry plague and stuff like that? Yeah, that's called that's a kufnefesh. Even though they might be not obviously that they do damage now, but it's. Yeah. It's suffered with Chuch Nefesh. Any time you have animals, they have the whole thing with the mosquitoes, right? With the uh, uh, carrying. Uh, <laughs> that cause Lyme disease. Yeah, all these things. All, yeah. With, with yeah. All the Zika virus. All these things, they, those are Chuch Nefesh. <coughs> those are Chuch Nefesh. If you know that the animals that are flying around here are carrying a virus and they kill people, those are Chuch Nefesh. They're not kill them. That's in the category of mamies or damage? The second. That's in the mamies. That's the first category. The Zika virus was, was a, it's possible to die from it, no? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So that's Mamus. Yeah. Even Suffolk Mamus. Uh, Even Suffolk uh, Kuch Nefesh is Mutter and Shabbos. We're talking about, you know for sure they don't kill. If you know if it's Suffolk, if they kill, you're allowed to kill them. If you will see them around, it's a mitzvah yeah. to kill them to make sure that they don't kill if anybody. They have them, uh, if we know if that's random. Yeah. 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 They yeah. don't have uh, something that could be Mamus. Yeah. But you don't know this. But, but, but then, if it's a Suffolk Kuch Nefesh, then it's Mutter. Oh, Suffolk Kuch Nefesh also is Mutter. They have the level of magic, it does damage, it does not kill. 
For example, you have uh, bee bites. Most people they oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. damage. You have to go ahead. You have to treat it. But it's not for If it's somebody who a bee bite could, uh, it's a suffix if it could, uh, if it could do a uh, kill the person. Yeah. And that's it's suffix kochnaf, which is not a kill the bee. So that's that's the second level of hezek. The third level, which we're doing today, sif test, is sound. It's pain. It hurts, but. It's, it's uncomfortable or it gets in the way. These type of animals, these type of fleas and bugs, that's called tsar. So we're more makeup for hezek than we are makeup for tsar. So we're going to have now three levels. Mamus, it kills. Mazik, it damages. And tsar, it's uncomfortable. But it doesn't do any damage. For example, a mosquito bite. Mosquito bite um, is not, I don't, I don't know if you call a mosquito bite Uncomfortable itself. Yeah, I don't know if you call it hezek. So, so those are the those are the three levels. So in chief test we're talking about a parish, an ikrabargus, balash and arrive, also erav, also lusaidai, L M K who are only if it's on you and it's biting you. Now in Siv Zion we saw you don't need that tonight. In Siv Zion it says, Hasal the Khosh of our Krovim, Shaloy Shikhanu Mutim. Doesn't say that it's on you and it's biting you, even if it's just walking around. It's mutter to capture them. It's malachas ain't shmicha the gufa, and it's mutter to capture them. Matavis. That's because they're being mazik. The animals that could do damage to you. Here, they were talking about animals that don't do damage to you. Just with tsar alma. Here it says only if they're on you and they're about to bite you or they're biting you, then you're allowed to send them away. You're allowed to capture them, take them, and throw them away. Because only tsar. But for also the hard guy, you know, that will kill them. Which is also a big difference, because we'll see soon that for Siv Zayin, by the Chashem Akravim, you're allowed to kill them also. Yeah, okay. The Chashem Akravim will see and see if you're, sometimes you're allowed to kill them. If they're running after you. But that's the court No, yeah. no, Hezek. Even though it's only Hezek. Mm -hmm. Even though it's only Hezek, we'll see and see if you Second half of you. Let's look in you a second. And you it says, Kol Chayev Remes, Shehem Noishkin Umemisim. They bite and they kill. Okay, yeah. Vadai, for sure, at the Vadai Memes. Nairogim B'Shavis. You're allowed to kill them on Shavis without asking any questions. You're allowed to kill them. A fellow ain't rots in Akharov. Even though they're not running they're not after running, you, yeah. they're just walking around, you see a spider or whatever they call them, the types that are dangerous. And, and, and the Lord Loch is, you're allowed to kill it on Shavis. If it's Vadai Memes. For Shar Mazikim, other types of Mazikim, the Mazik, not Shar. The Mazikim, they're going to Nachash for Akrav. The Mokim Sha'ein Mamisim, where they don't kill, which will see Zion. In Ratzin Akharav, Mutala Hargam. If they're running after you, it's then you're allowed to kill them on Shabbos. So we see over here the animals that are Vadai Memes, there's no questions asked, even though they're not Ratzin Akharav. They're allowed to kill them. Animals that are mazikim, they do damage. So Sif Zion, it says, you're allowed to capture them. Malach Shet Shichel Gufa, it's mutter to capture them. And in Sif Yud, it says, if they're running after you, then you're allowed to kill them. If they're not, they're not running after you, you're not allowed to kill them yet. That's the difference by mazikim. So mazikim have had to, once they're running after you, even though they're not mamus, they're allowed to kill them. If they're not running after you, only allowed to capture them. It's if you're just talking about killing them, same way about the same test. But whenever it says it's much better to kill, is it also much better to trap? Yes. Yes, for sure. So I was thinking it might not be like such a good call of because it's two separate malachas. Yeah, but they're both, they're both these two of the rices. Yes. Yeah. Capturing, the truth is, killing could be worse. Huh? So, yeah, killing could be worse, because it's, worse, yeah. The truth is, they're both into the rices. Yeah. Yeah, the both are the right. Not, not, not necessarily. Let's say you have <coughs> the choice between killing an, an insect, yeah. right? A bee, right? Right? Uh, they're both. Let's say they're both mazik, right? But you, right. you cover it with a with a uh, with a with a uh, with a cup. That would be lachshin and shuv legufa. The malkin hezik, right? Would be a drabana. Right. Killing. Also, the lachshin and shuv legufa. 
No, but killing it is is Natilas Nishama. You don't need the animal. You don't need the Natilas Nishama. Natilas Nishama is it's awesome. Is to, to a, to yeah. Yeah. yeah, but killing. The, you don't need the animal. You're not killing because you want the animal. If you need the hide from the animal, I understand. It's 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 if you don't need the animal, it's doing a shrimp and mouth, it's also a shrimp and mouth. Why would that be called psikresha, though? It's psikresha. It's a mouth and chikha gufa. It could be psikresha. No, but psikresha, they wouldn't be able to say this then. No, every mouth and chikha gufa is a psikresha. Okay. Every mouth and chikha is even more than psikresha, maybe. It's even worse. So if it's any chikha gufa, then it's mutter. Like we explained already, right? Psikresha means. It's two yeah. different malachas that are happening, and you're doing A and B is for sure happening. Yeah. That's a. a, 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 a I'm not mischaven for B. I'm not mischaven for B. If it's a psik ratio, it's also. Yeah, automatic. It's also. A malach shayt shrikha lagufa means it's one, one malacha. I can explain it two different ways. That was the difference. That means even though you hold malach shayt shrikha lagufa as mutter, but a psik ratio may still be yasin. The situation, two separate things are happening. And you like, can't... Ex- like it's just one thing. It's one thing. You're just killing it. You're killing the animal. There's no secondary right. thing. Right, correct. There's no secondary yeah. thing. All you're doing is one malacha. Why are you doing it for? Uh-huh. That malacha that I'm doing, what am I doing it for? Because uh-huh. I want to hide? Or no, I don't want it to, I don't want it to bite me. Right. If you don't want it to bite you, then it's a malacha chain. It's Yichel Gufa. You're doing it in a Tilas Neshama for a different reason than it was done in the Mishka. That's a malacha Yichel Gufa. Any mischaven, a psikresha, I'm slapping a bench, it's all going to make a charitz. That maise charitz that you're doing is not the malacha that you want to do, you want to slap a bench. The charitz that's happening is a psikresha that's going to happen. So this is why psikresha, you want to have a hetter. When you're killing an insect, you're killing it, but you're also squeezing the blood out. That's what maybe a different That's also a tesa It's the same, yeah, same, same yeah, malacha. Same thing. So it's a malacha shayt shrikha gufa. Even the killing is a malacha shayt shrikha gufa, and, de- and therefore it's mutter when it's being when it's rotten acharav. Now, <coughs> getting back to Sif Tess, so the parosh, which is something which is not mazig, it's not mamis, it's only a tsar ba'alma. The malacha is you're allowed to capture it, but for also the hard you're not allowed to kill it. It's also to kill no matter what. Why is that? So let's see. Doctor Morgan of Rome. First of all, you'd chats, but I'd say, Mashma, the im who albasare, the ain't the I'd say, also the side. If it's on you and it's not biting you, then you're not allowed to capture it. Only once it's biting you, do you have had to, to capture it, Mashem Tsar. For the dom and the case, Mashem Tsarabe, Mashem Gosa, Mashem Tsar, if it's chess, the hocha, lekel and mechish, the hazeka, rak tsarba almo. The locha is a kite, Mashem Tsarabe. The stones in the Shusha Rabbim, you're allowed to do Malachat Shayt Shrikha the Gufa, and you're allowed to carry it out. So over here also, why can't you do Malachat Shayt Shrikha the Gufa of Tzedah? In order that the insect shouldn't hurt you. It says the Mughal from the Yisoyed, Tehacha Lecha Lamechesh Lazeka Rak Tsar Ba'alma. Here it's only pain. Pain Ba'alma will not matter a Malachat Shayt Shrikha the Gufa. Aval Yesh Aimrim, the Mutter Litloi Me'al Begadam Mivifnim. Some people say, and even if it's not biting you yet, but it's inside in your clothing, then you allowed to take it out and throw it away, even though it's sod. So this is the long taz here, which I'm not going to go through all long taz. The taz has a whole arichas here, a steer in the Gemara. If you look at the end of the taz, he says, well, in your halacha, mm-hmm. all the way to the end of that, three lines up. The old Shachanarachs and the new ones by more than three lines up. The end of the Taz, Sivka and Ches, says, Le'inyin Halacha. You see it? Yeah. The end of Ches. Le'inyin Halacha. Le'inyin Halacha. Go down, down, down. Yeah. Down, Anytime you could knock it off without taking it in your hand easily, yes, last is came in while It's inside, if you can knock it off easily, just do that. Knock it off to the ground, don't capture it, just knock it off. 
he's wearing uh, socks. The kosher little hapkel aparish, it can't just knock it off, it's stuck inside. Em lo yitlen u biyad chilo. Then a seimich ala makilim, she otaisis v'rashi, from Rav HaMagad, Rav Rashko, she atiru b'mifnim, lo yifsid. Befrat, b'mila di Rabbonon, ken nir lefina ni estati. It says it has that you could be make a living though it's not biting you, it's not mamish biting you, but it's inside the baguette, and you know it's going to bite you, it's going to be uncomfortable, you're allowed to take it and throw it out. You see, most of the world does that. Khalil to say that the world is wrong. Therefore, the task comes out that it's mutter to take it and throw it out. Is he saying, is he arguing on this idea of Tsar? And that, that no, he no. you're saying Tsar also, but Tsar, a brother of name, is also mutter. That means when it's not when it's Hezik, we had before, that even if it's not on your begot, even if it's just walking around. Right. Even if it's not Rotz and Acharov, it's just walking around, you're allowed to go ahead, you're allowed to capture it on Shabbos. But uh, Tsar, it's only when it's Oik Tsar. And what does that mean? So the Taz says, I'm a Cholikos in the Rishonim. And he says, Oik Tsar means if it's inside in your begot, there's a good chance it's going to bite you. And therefore, you're allowed to take it out. But better to avoid killing it. Is, is you're not allowed to kill it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not allowed to kill it. For Tsar, you're not allowed to kill it. Flick it off than to, to catch it. Right? Yeah, it's better to flick it off than to, yeah, than to yeah. pick it up and catch it and throw it out. That's called the way it's The second you pick it up, it's Seder, and then you're throwing it out. But also the Haragos says the Morgan of Ram. So in this halacha here, it's assuming that this is the halacha of Tsar, right? Right. Test, test the halacha of Tsar. Right. Right. It comes out that if it's going to bite you, does it change from. Does it change? No, oh, even even after it bites, it's only tsar. Right. So it doesn't change. This is also tsar. The elo in kain who al v'sarai. V'oik tsar. V'oik tsar. That's the mechaber. Right. The taz is mechaber. He says loved after it's mamish binding you. If it's in the begot of bifnim, it's also enough. The question: At what at what stage do we say we give you a head to take it and throw it away? Right. So that, that comes up that on the on the tsar on on the lowest level. Right. If I if I understand it correctly, on the lowest level, even if it bites you. Right. This would be a mosquito. Right. You read the machaber. It says it's usher only. Usher sorry, the Elohim pain. It's usher, but except for the fact that it, if it would bite you. So right. it comes out that a mosquito that bites, right. would, you, you would be allowed to yeah. capture it. Yeah. If it's on you, you're allowed to take it and throw it away. Right. So a mosquito that's going to bite you. Correct. You're allowed to throw it away. You're allowed to get rid of it. You're allowed to capture it. So you're allowed to capture it. Only when it's on you. When it's flying around, you're not allowed to. No. So it's on, it's, a, it's it's on you. It's clothes. Right. It's on you. It's, it's in your clothes. clothes. It's, it's on your clothing outside over here. There's so nothing. nothing. So you don't have to do anything to it. You shake okay. it off. It's on your skin, if it's on your arm. It's on your arm. Or if it's inside your clothing, then yeah. so when it's on your arm, you, have to, you, have to, you should have to flick it off. That's what the Tal says. It's better just to flick it off. But if it's inside your clothing, where you can't just flick it off, you're allowed to take it and capture it and get rid of it. So that wouldn't be a, so a fly that just a fly, plain fly, not a mosquito, nothing at all. A fly that comes around. So a plain fly, a plain fly is something else. A plain fly is a shayla because it's not even sad. It can't, do, it can't, even, it can't even make any pain to you. It's just annoying. Annoying the way the the rechayim speak about what's a lach or something that's annoying. Yeah. Is that called sad? Yeah, how many kids uh, annoying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a different title. I mean, they carry diseases. I mean, you know. Flies? Yeah. Ants. They have ants walking around. Ants, ants, ants on you. They can't do anything to you. So they have to be had to. There's ants inside, inside your, your shirt sleeve, right? Is there a hat to the, take it and throw it away? I don't know if it's a to. That's not sorry even. You can't do any damage. It's just, you, you, you're a little... Uh, Discomfort. Discomfort, or your little uh, meals, meals, yeah. So th that's something else. That's a different child. That's why I'm not like not him if that's called sad. Something that's, uh, that's you're annoyed by it or it's, uh, you're disgusted by it. Temporary sad. Is that called sad? But it's temporary. They call it, the way the way the Chayim is saying is, is sad and nefesh. Yeah. So he says here that the sad and nefesh. They call it the sad and nefesh with sad goof. Who is that? Or he's about the Rakhra with the. Okay. Okay. If tsar nefesh is called tsar or not, if you hold tsar nefesh, it's called tsar. So even if it's a, if it can't do any, it can't hurt you even, but it's still it's inside your clothing. You like take it off. Mm -hmm. But it won't be hetter if it's inside your clothing. If it's on top of your clothing. I don't know if it's hetter. 
And for you somebody need to click else, it. Huh? For somebody else, somebody who doesn't like spiders, they're scared of spiders. Even though right. spiders don't do anything. Right, same thing, same Can child. you catch the spider because of the other person? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're saving yeah, somebody like spiders, from spiders spiders If it's on top of you, on top of your clothing, there's no have to capture it. So you flick it off, shoo it away. But to capture it, there's no have to. We That's all, the, all this type of insects. But most of the insects we have that are crawling around here can't be massive, besides mosquitoes maybe, called the tsar, tsar aguf. All the other insects that we have basically, none of them can really do any tsar aguf. So we're disgusted by them, we don't like it, we're uncomfortable by it. So that would be the shine of tsar aguf, it's called tsar or not, and I'll get rid of it. So the Morgan of Ram says, you've caught your test, but also the harga, but harga chayiv. If someone kills a parish of Shabbos, he's chayiv. Now what does it mean by harga chayiv? To say it means if you kill it because you don't because it's bothering you, chayiv, that's the way of Lakhna Trikal Gufa. So why should you be chayiv? We pass in Lakhna Trikal Gufa. It's potter, it's not chayiv. So there's a bit of luck over here. The Vemask of also the Hargoy. Is that the same thing that was the, as, as the first words of this halakha, uh, Oser? No, it wouldn't be Oser either. That's mm -hmm. not Dafka term. No, it is Oser, the hard guy, it's Oser's Moch. Right. It's but not Chayef. But it's not going to be, so it's not really, it shouldn't be Oser, it should be Potter. No, we, we could, yeah. but, Oser is we, Potter, uh, all Oser means Potter Aval Oser. All Oser is Potter. All Oser means Potter, anytime it says Oser in Hilfa Shabbos, it means Potter Aval Oser. Yeah. Yeah. Anytime it says Oser in Shabbos, it means Patra Avalos. Yeah. Patra Chayev. Chayev would say Chayev. Right. I think that's what the Taz is saying in Zion. I think that's what he's, what he's, what he's, what he's trying to say. Yeah. Yeah. But he says, he just calls out those champions. Right. He says even more. Yeah, he says no, 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 no. He's going on the, on the Tzayda. On the first one. Right? Yeah. He's going on the Tzayda. Yeah. Yeah, on the first one. Yeah. That's the same idea. That's same idea. No, but here, there could be a Chayev for killing it. Because it doesn't know what any man listed. Harid is something else. You have to come out of a lachan shayt zrikha the gufa. And that's why it's part of a lachan. So the be a lachan, the Ramaskha of Asa Lahaga says, I have Mr. Ruud, the Kasavnu, the Chayav of Zemashim Matilas and the Shama. Ken Kasavnu, Magad Brahm, Ken Mashim Besesif, the Husfir Leila, Dina, the Shkhera, Kafetse, Solanu, who are parish, Amma Begimar, the Chayav of Leal, the Vihaka, Ken Mashim Begimar. Umasha calls the Belashan also the Gamma the Hogger Chai, which from the Kavonas and Machaber who are full of Oif and Boikzoi, the Rotsa, the Horogram, which from Zek, they shall act ten oi, the Phil Hockey Osser. It's locked at Chicago Gufo. Much comes to be said to behead the wife and Zebavada in a circle Gufoi, shall a parish of Havana block at Chicago Gufo. I will come off in the series, said the Shulialmo, and the Chai that the Mogan of Rum says must be when you want it. Chai, if, you, if you're hiring it, the Morgan of Ram says Chai, if it must be when you want the parish for a reason, then it's Chai. But if you're doing it because you don't want it to bite you, or okay. to bother you, it's a Morgan of Tzrich Now look at the end of that Be'olacha, a very important Be'olacha here. The Masha calls the permission of Bura, that full of Oiktzai, also the Hargoy. It's also to kill it. And why is it also to kill it? It's a Be'olacha Shein Tzrich You don't want it. You're killing it because it's bothering you. The matter to capture it on Chavez, because it's only issued to the Abanon, and it's Abbasari, but Oiktsoi, the matter to do on the Lacha Chetrich and the Gufa, the matter to be Oiv and Issed to the Abanon. So why can't you kill it? Killing it is also only an Issed to the Abanon because of the Lacha Chetrich and the Gufa. So there'd be a Lacha. Masha Kosa be Mishnah Ruh, the Philo Oikta, also the hard guy, Ken Kosa be Sesif, the Laidomid, the Tseida, the Machalina and Ba'ikzai. Why not? Why is it different? Hainu Lafi Sha ain't be mina in its side, but leka is the right a cloud bazaar. Masha Enke Bahariga, the Khsatsarak the Gufa, Chayev, the Kahl and Machalina, Mishum Saira, Baalma, a fellow Kushaina Tsarak law. Says the Bir Lakha Bikhidish. When you learn the Sif, a parish that's on you. It's Oiktsoi, or it's Bifnim, whatever the Hetar is, you're allowed to capture it. Why are you allowed to capture it? Because it's only Issa de Rabbana. You're not allowed to kill it. Why not? Killing it is also an Issa de Rabbana. It says the Bi'ar Lacha. The Mokam Tsar, 
Sorry. But it's not hezek. What are we matter? Only a malacha and tzvicha legufa by an isa de rabbanon. This parash is even min an itzayit. That's something you usually catch. So the mokim tzar, the matter a malacha and tzvicha legufa by an isa de rabbanon. But let's say an isa de raisa, for example, to kill it, then we're not allowed to do it. Why not? Because that's a malacha and tzvicha legufa for an isa de raisa. That was about the Babakim Tzara. So, going back to Siv Zion, we might have captured the Nechash of Akrav. It's a Malach Shet Shuchel Gufa. There we said, it was B'minay Nitzayit. Nechash of Akrav is B'minay Nitzayit. But Mata Malach Shet Shuchel Gufa, even for Nisad Ereisa. Why? Because there's Hezek. By Hezek, we might have even a Malach Shet Shuchel Gufa for Hezek. But the tzar itself will not matter. Oh, yeah. So that would be, you know, if you have an animal, uh, insect, it's a mina nitzah, for example, a bee. A bee, it could be, it's called a mina nitzah. So, if you it's only tzar ba'alma. Right, even after a bee bite. Tzar ba'alma, let's say. So there won't be head to the capture of Chavez. Let's say you know it's not going to bite, right? It's just that it's flying around. And it bothers you, and you call tsar nefesh tsar. If bees are, if bees are, b'mina and nitzayit, they're not going to be matter to capture on Shabbos and Yom Tov, because of malachah tzvichel gufa. Because then it'll be a malachah tzvichel gufa by nisadai raisa. It won't be matter it. So the head of the captured bees, either you have to say that it's taka only tsar ba'alma, but it's not b'mina and nitzayit. And therefore, it's a malach shatzricha legufa by Nisid Rabbanon. Or, it is the mina nitzayit, but we give it the level of mazikin. We give it the level of mazikin that it's mazik. Because it bites you, then you have to take care of it, and, and it could. Uh, what well, would, would, would be the running mean after you? The mina uh, because of the honey? Correct. So, so that, that would make a big difference in bees and like wasps. Yeah. Right. Uh, wasps are not for me in this side. Right. Wasps are not for me in this side. And they definitely can capture them on Chavez. Right. But then also, you have to know, if it's flying around, that was a question before. If it's, yeah. uh, it's, it's, it's only Tsar Ba Alma, let's say wasps can't be mazik here. They can only give you Tsar, pain. Then the Lach is Tsar only if it's Abu Sari Ba Iksai. Or it's on your, it's on your bag at the Fnim. Flying around Samuza so would not matter it. Unless you're going to say that's Sarah Nefesh. Sarah Nefesh, right. You can't sit there in the circle because the wasp's flying around, you have to leave, then you'll have that head to the capture it. Mm-hmm. But it could be wasps are called uh, Mazikim. What happens if a wasp bites, bites you? It's dangerous. Yeah, it it's could terrible. be. Huh? It's terrible. It's Tzar Ba'alma or it's Mazikim? No, it's Mazikim because even if it doesn't kill you, it's, it right. hurts you, it swells up. Yeah, that's a, hers is not called Tzar. Well, allergic to it. But Mazik, Mazik well, means... Allergic is a different portion. Yeah, if it's allergic to it, then it's Kofanefesh. But that's the question. Exactly where you go from Mazikim to Tzar is not 100% clear. They say if it has to be treated, then it's called Tzar. Then it's called Mazik. Even, so, even oh, with the treatment like a cold compress or uh, I don't know, that's, or, that's uh, a question. Like uh, or something? Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's what has to be treated. It's massive cream. Would be yeah, maybe it's called massive cream. Uh-huh. Has to be treated. Maybe. I, I, I'm not sure exactly what the chilik is when you go from a mazik to a tsar. And the difference would be if it's not on you, if it's flying around, if you could capture it on Chavez. Is there a chilik between one insect versus many insects? Like, you know, if, if you have a swarm of insects, yeah. it's different from one thing that's, that's mm-hmm. maybe bothering you. Why? Some of it. If you, have, if you have a bunch of ants, you have a whole thing of ants in your house, right? What's his life doing? You have to capture that. What's his life doing anything about it? They can get this like before. It's like different. It's not a hatchet. But the one is probably not. Yeah, but they have a hatchet is probably here. So it doesn't matter if there's more, more of no, there's no, no, no difference. That was a head on Shabbos. There was a people make. They think if they have a bunch of uh, ants in the house on Shabbos. They see there's a bunch of spy, whatever it is. But it might change from Tzart to Nezek. What's a Nezek? 
if you have a swarm of bees chasing you. Yeah, swarm of bees chasing you. If you have in your house. The swarm of mosquitoes, you know, like they, some, they don't just come as one sometimes. Yeah, so the question is if, if you have a bunch of mosquitoes flying around in your house. The whole drive. Are you allowed to do something about it? What's the sign? Don't yeah, no, that's called Tsar. And even if it is Tsar, that's a simply allowed to capture so easily. That's not so possible. You have to ask a uh, child before you go ahead. And you have a, if it's on your body, then you have a child, you have a head to. But if it's not on your body, then it's not so simple they allow to do it. Unless it's Mazikim. Okay, let's write to the. The more says over here. So you know, I killed Hagab, Afla, Yem, Lenu, Biyaday, Shemu, Hagenu, Elit, Lenu, Biyaday, Bizukenu. You learn the other means you shouldn't um, roll it in your hands. And usually when you do that, you, you lay it or whatever, you don't kill it, still you're not allowed to do that. The only thing you're allowed to do is pick it up and throw it away. Avol bak kino, the lice, muta lahargo, galala kill it on Shabbos. Now the reason for this is, the famous halacha here, and the mashbur brings down over here, halarichis, that the reason why you're allowed to kill lice, is because they're not part of a robber. Let's see the Mr. Brewer inside. It's nice to see it inside. Six cotton lamb and chess. For us, the hard guy says the Mr. Brewer, Tom, the Machalkina, Ben Parish, the Kino, who the Chova Lachas, the Shabbos, the Mishkan, the Alfinola. The little man of the Mishkan. The Alfina and Misas Kob Alchayim, Lechiv, Shkitas Elim Adam. Anytime you kill a Balchay, you learn it out from the Shkit of Elim Adam, the red rams they had in the Mesa Mingdash, Shayib Mishkan, the Shvila Yeriseim, they did it to get their hides. The Lav Davka, the Shkit of the Huadah, the Akav, the Chanika, hitting it and choking it, and the Chira, or stabbing it, the Chol, Kihai Gavra. Kimish the Bali, they zen until the Shamachai. But Amina, we say, Ma elim u damim shaparim v'rabim Af kol shaparim v'rabim Afuke kina de enay bom nizakha v'nekeva El a bom in Azeya v'cheshiva beria So a kina says the Gemara that the reason why a kina is muted to kill it on Chavez because the only thing that's also only creature that's also to kill on Chavez is something that that reproduces from a zakha v'nekeva Hashem came lice, doesn't, and therefore it's mutter to kill them on Chavez and not call live animals. The same yeah. way, right, that's the, yeah. that's the humor. And everyone yeah. has a question on that, that today's science we see is not that way that even anything, any living creature has to come as Zachar in the cave. So I'm not going to get into this. I know <laughs> some people want me to get into it, <laughs> but I'm not going to. I'll just tell you quickly. You know, one or two terutsim, how to take care of it. But one thing, before, before we go and, and explain it, one thing you have to know is that even though we have a caution from science on Dibri Chazal, Dibri Chazal does not change. Chal, as you have to know. Dibri Chazal never changes. You know something, you don't understand it, it doesn't change. But what's the over here? You don't understand it. We say it does come in Zachar in the Keva. So, one of the, two, I guess, two terutsim I'll tell you. There's a bunch, but I'll tell you two famous terutsim. One of the terutsim is, is that that even though lice comes from a zochav and a kevo, they have, but you need a third party to make it hatch. Meaning, every other animal, zochav and a kevo themselves, they can have, they can reproduce. Lice, or this type of okay. little insects, that they grow from the, the from the rotting meat. These type of insects. Even though they come from a zakhav and a cave, you have to have an egg. They have to, you have to have a zakhav and a cave for that, whatever the basis is. But since they also need to grow on something else, they can't grow by themselves. They have to go on the meat or some of the bacteria, whatever it is. Therefore, they're not called parim viravim. They're not called coming from a zakhav and a cave. Because they don't only come from a zakhav and a cave, they need something else to help them grow. That's one terrorist they say, to answer the Chazal. Another terrorist they say, which I think is from Chaim Kinevsk, I think they say it's terrorist, that what it means, a and a cave, it means things that we see as coming from a Zachar and a cave. Things that we don't see, it's so minute that we don't see it coming from a Zachar and a cave, 
that's not called Bam Zachar and Nechem. I think the example it gives is even flowers you need sometimes a Zachar and Nechem for flowers to grow. And flowers are called Balachayim. <coughs> no one thinks flowers are called Balachayim. The reason is because it's so it's so molecule, the Zachar and Nechem aspect there, the way it works, that it's not called coming from a Zachar and Nechem. That's called coming by itself. That's a, a, a parish? Uh, yeah. No, a parish doesn't. A parish does come Zachar and Nechem. I'm saying it's lice. Yes, sir. I don't know. Oh. Well, they say yes, but it came from the dust. Oh, something comes from Ofar anyway. Something comes from Ofar anyway. We see in the we'll see in the Magen If it if it comes from the Ofar, also it's also even though it's not even though it's not yeah, Bob Zacham in the cave. Even though it's not Bob Zacham in the cave. So that's a terrorist they give two to and they give why lice is called something that's not part of Rava that doesn't come from Zacham in the cave. And therefore says the Mechaber of Akina Muta Laharga. A person the latter kill lice and Shabbos has no din of the Tilas Neshama on killing lice. Is there any issue at all with killing bacteria? No. no. For the same reason. Same idea. Same idea. Mm-hmm. Same idea. There's no issue. Otherwise, you know, it's, you can't move much out of this. The more science re- sees the minute things, the molecule things, the more you realize every time you breathe, you're killing bacteria. So how could you uh, breathe on Chavez? The answer is those things are not called part of a rub. They're not called part of a rub. They're not called creatures that grow Zucker and Keva since it's so minute, or because it has to go from something else. <coughs> There's the whole question with the, the bugs in the water also, right? You know, drink the water, now I drink the water, because there's bugs in the water. So besides the fact that, that the, the, drinking bugs, you can't drink it on Chavez. Because it kills them. <laughs> how, could you, how could you use water on Chavez? How could you wash your hands on Chavez? And rub your hands, it could be killing those little insects. The terrace is that since you don't see them, they're not called part of the Rav, they're not called, they're like lights. Some people wanted to say that therefore the bugs in the water, they rather drink them and even drink them. It doesn't have a din of an insect in the Gaya drinking them. The same way on Shabbos, these bugs don't have a din as part of the Rav, they're not called Matilus Neshama. The same thing with, with eating them and drinking them also, there's no din of part of a rabbin, and therefore they're not called insects. And when Torah says a chai, if you're eating a bug, it doesn't mean these type of bugs. So that was the whole machlaikis. That was in New York nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> but that was the big machlaikis with the bugs in the water. Primadame to Shabbos, Primadame to Shabbos. You see from Shabbos, it's not called an insect, and it's not called a tilsa shama, therefore maybe you could drink them. It was a whole shayla. So, lice, there's no iser to kill them on Shabbos, it's mutter. If you look in the Morgan of Ramis, you've caught in Chof. Mutter Lahargo, Lashon Rambam, Peyik Yid Aleph. The Moslem Shav Yosem in Agalolim. Umar Apeiroiz, Shav Ishu Uchiyotu Behen. Creatures that come from... From Glolim is, is, is a manure. Umar Apeiroiz, Shav Ishu Uchiyotu Behen. He's going to Lom, Shav Bosa, Uchiyotu Behen, 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 Shav in writing me, Tahargan, Potter, I will remove him, Shem Potter, the Robin, by Shav Yasim and the Afar, to go in a paration, Tahargan, Chayim. Then, the Chayim. Umashmo, the Magamishna, the Hotel Kaoma, the Rasha, Potter, Lav Dafka, and the Mutter, the Chatchila, the latter killed him, the Chatchila. So there's no din of the tilts and shaman of these animals. Dumya the kina. Mukamokam had to loam hagadela the paris, the mechubi, also the haroi, the mikri sherets come. It's a sherets. These that grow from paris are already have a din of sherets. The The bugs that grow in fruits, those have a din like a sherets, and the chaye vinalada kill them on shamas. Is that is making the Vinash Moyer Shrotzim now? He's on yeah, the Vinash Moyer Shrotzim now. It makes a difference if it's still on a tree versus if it's already picked and it's sitting in your kitchen? For what? For, for this halacha. He makes it very good. Yeah. That's the whole question. Yeah, that's the whole question. In, uh, Are we supposed to be in the diet? Yes, yes. Yes, because. because 
I don't think you would die with the Bengay Shabbos. I, I hate it, dear. Uh, I think it wasn't a diet. He says it's enough. Yeah, because when the guy, if he has a din sheretz, it depends on some chubur or not. Uh -huh. But well, well, I don't get the connection. Because sheretz al has to be. Uh -huh. In order for the get a sheretz, you can have the same bug yeah. that's in your fruit. Uh -huh. Like in your kitchen. In your kitchen, it yeah. grows within the fruit. Yeah. And it's mutter to eat it. Uh -huh. Then it's mutter. Why? Because it was never it was never it was never sheretz al adama. It never crawled on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's not treats outside. Right. 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 You, get, you leave your grapes out, or your pears yeah. out, you'll get no, but the, flies. Right, but that's, that's from the inside from the outside. You see it on the outside. Yeah, but that's from the outside. We're talking about the ones that grow on the inside of the fruit. Oh, oh, Bugs that grow on the inside of the fruit, so it depends. If it grew when it was mechubal the karka, and it crawled around inside the fruit while it was mechubal the karka, then it's called tsoyrit al adama. So when you, you can have the same bug, that left the animal, it's also again chuvan. If it left the animal, that left the fruit, and it went back into the fruit, now you're not allowed to eat it. Because it's very shayrit. It was walking around on the outside of the fruit. But if it stayed inside the fruit and never came out of the fruit, then it's mutter to eat it. It was created it, in the fruit. It created in the fruit. Yeah. If it was created in the fruit, then it's mutter to eat it. But if the fruit is mechubal karka? Then it's a problem. Because then if it crawls around inside the fruit, so it's, it's very shayrit al adama. Right. It's considered that it crawled on the ground. But isn't this all this a different din than Habiga yeah. and Shabbos? Right. The should be different than Habiga and Shabbos. Yeah. I hear you dig. Uh -huh. I hear you dig. It says, Be mechubar. Also, the haraig. Yeah. And if your dig is a true dig, I have to check into it. Yeah. But if your dig is a true dig, what come out is, is that we spoke before, if you give him a dama Shabbos to Shabbos to, to, uh, to Shabbos and Hamayim, to the bugs in the water, to hear it's mash mechubar. Because if it's called part of a rubber, it's called a sheretz, when it comes out, so who gives that it didn't come out yet? You should be chayav harig on Shabbos anyway. But if you give him a dark, if it doesn't have a din sheretz, but the gay eating it, so it doesn't have a din sheretz, but the gay Shabbos, then you could see that you can compare the two. Mm -hmm. I hear, I hear the deal. I have to check into it. Interesting, interesting child. Okay. So the kina is mutal harga. Now, va ma fa ma Someone who's checking out his clothing is taking off the bugs. Mikinim from kinim. Lo yeharga. You're not allowed to kill them. El moilam biyadai vizarkan. Now the the chiluk here is when you're taking out kinim from your baguette, from your clothing, it's very hard to tell the difference between the kinim and the parashim. Only a bit. It's hard to know the difference. So when you're taking off the kinim from your bag, you're going to kill them. So what are you going to do? You're taking off kinim, and you're going to pick them off and kill them as you're taking them off. But one of those things may be a parish. Parish you're not allowed to kill. Therefore we say, don't kill them. Take them off and throw them away. A gzera, they may end up taking a parish and killing the parish. I will have a father, Roshoy, but if someone is taking out lice from his head, Mutter the hargon, you're allowed to kill them. Why? Because on the head, parashim don't stay. They don't hang out in the head. They only hang out in, in, on the clothing. So therefore, there's no chash that when you're taking it out, you can end up taking a parish. If you look in the Morgan of Rome, Lo Yehargayim, Kimishem Etzinu Shem, Parashim, Since in the Begodim you find Parashim, Because we know Shem Ayara Gam Kem Parashim. Amokem Nirali, the mutter, the zarka, the mayim, you let us throw them in water. So here... What did that accomplish? Did it, now you're drowning them instead of killing them? I think I'm already mentioned. So that's a question. Water. What does that mean? That's wrong. Uh, they, they. Why are you not throwing into water here? So here's a big question. If you look into the Sif Chaim here, he has a question. You let, you're not allowed to kill them. So why do you do throw into water? Right. Anyway, you're killing it. Right. So what's the hatter? So yeah, we're looking at the Siv Chaim. He has a question on the Morgan of Rome. See the Siv Chaim? He says, "I'm coming from nearly the middle of the Zorka of Mayim. Chemash me Gemara, but Tzayim and Dama Rava shadu lekana de Mayim. He threw it into water. But Chalila lano me asayis davar kazer." Says in the Siv Chaim, "Avada, it's also to do some night on Shabbos. The Mayshna and Mahayri parish be a daim, a hargam a day Mayim." If you're worried that's going to be a parish, then who cares if you kill it? 
or you throw it into the water and you kill it. It's the same thing. For Robert, the Shvat of the Chayim Demayim, the Chol Ayri is talking about it in the weekdays. So we have the Kaf in the Morgan of Ram. How could the Morgan of Ram say, "Let's throw it into water"? What's the chil of killing it or throwing it into water? Both of both of them are killing it. So he argues with the Morgan of Ram. But if you look at the Mishnah over here, he explains it. You're not, huh? doing, you're not doing direct when you're throwing it to the water. Therefore what? He's still killing it. Uh, no, maybe he knows how to swim. I was sure he wouldn't know how to swim. <laughs> so the Mishnah Brewer says that when you're taking off Kinim, right, what's the problem? There's a Xero, you may take off a Parish and kill it by mistake. So what's had to throw into the water? So the Mishnah Brewer learns the Mogan of Rom. The head of the throw into the water is, if you're taking it off and you're not killing it, you're throwing it into the water, so there's, there's a sh- the hacker that you can't kill them. You realize that Allah is not allowed to kill them. Therefore, you'll be more careful before you do that. All throwing it into the water does is, it's a hacker, it's to show us that you're not allowed to kill them directly. Therefore, you'll be more careful and check it out what it is before you throw it into the water. It's also that's how the that's how Mishnah Berurah learns. It's indirectly done. The, the yeah, but still, no, it's still killing it. It's still killing it. You know how to swim? Hey, look at Mishnah Berurah. Steve Cotton Membeis. What is your name? What is your name? Steve Cotton Membeis. Mishnah Berurah. Look at how game. The Kivin. Yeah. Shem Esriim Shem Parashim Gazvina Shem Yad Gam Kain Parashim. That didn't make Xavier in this. Oh, sorry, Mr. Willis explained the reason why. Did for sure will die when you throw them in water? They die when you throw them into water, yeah. Someone speaks it out. Okay, I forgot, I forgot who it is. Okay, I forgot who it is. Hmm. Okay, someone said the reason is because it's going to be a hacker. I want to have a hacker, then unless the box of chocolate has a menu. Someone speaks it out. Someone speaks it out. They're thrown to the water. You have a hacker, and therefore you'll be careful. Try to remember who it is. Okay, that will answer the Morgan of Rome. Okay, says the Morgan of Rome. Don't take the the kin and the lice off the oiras, the hides of shualim or foxes. It's people who have fox, you know, they have the the mean coats. You pull out the tzemer with it. So I can get into now. as whole halacha over there. If you're allowed to pull out, the halacha is allowed to pull out here on Shabbos from a live person. But these are dead animals, right? Already swallow them. It's already after it's dead. Still, we'll see later so on. Whatever you do is secretion. Yeah, so still we'll see as an issa to pull out the hair. To pull out the hair, even though it's already not attached, not alive anymore, still you're not allowed to pull out the hair. So, so shyly we'll get into it. But if you have on the chicken, if you have you little feathers. You couldn't brush your strama. Huh? You couldn't brush your strama. If it's a secretion. No, but the strimal. I don't think the strimal is still on the hide, is it? I don't, know. I don't think so. I think the shaman can have it here, but they attach to something that's not still on, on the hide. Coats are still on the hide. Yeah. Brush out the Leo, I make a deal with the leader, okay? When it comes to the gate, you who will ask me. Check your shaman. Check your Okay, so that's that's halacha test. Halacha you. It's halacha test. We spoke out is the din of Tsar. Halacha Yud. Kol Chaya, Remes, Shehem Noishkin, Mamisin, Vadai. If a sure kill, 
They had rugged Shabbos, the latter killed them on Shabbos. They're filling what's in Akharov. Even though they're not running after you, they had killed them on Shabbos because of the Kuach Nefesh. Says the Mogan of Ram Chav Beis, a fellow in Rotsam, the Yesh Kuach Nefesh, by Oisel Mavad, just by seeing them, it's very Kuach Nefesh, you never know what they're going to do. Well, the Fikach Shari, a fellow man, the Lord said, you can go for Chayiv. Even according to the Rambam, that holds, the Lord said, you can go for Chayiv, so how can you go ahead and kill them? They're not killing animals, Shabbos, it's a Dereisa. Even if it's Melach Shet Shichel Gufa, it's still Chayiv. Because Kuch Nefesh is different. I did see, you know, the person speaking about it, you know, you see a, an animal coming, it's, it's a Vade Mamis. If you know for sure it's going back into the, into the woods, then you don't, you don't have to kill it. But uh, if you don't know for sure, there's a mice that we have in the mountains a lot of times. A beer has come out on Chavez. Yeah. Uh, you're allowed to kill them. Not ask, if they're asking any questions. An animal like that comes into, into a Yishu. Oh, asking Mrs. Jewish. It's a uh, it's mutter to kill them on Shabbos because of Vada Mamis. These animals kill. And they're mice. That have happened already. So that's all Vada Mamis. So you can. Maybe try and throw it into the water first. You, 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 yeah. uh, <laughs> you can go take a rock and shoot it. Huh? huh? You can go take a rock and yes. shoot yes. it. Yes, if someone yeah. sees a beer in a Yishu on Shabbos, He's like, go get a rifle and shoot it on Shabbos. No questions asked. Even though there are times, I mean, I remember my in-laws going to Conley, there's, a, there's beers that hang out all the time. They go through the garbage, right? And then they go away. But they're about the Mamis. So the person will come into contact with them. You never know what's going to happen. They're about the Mamis. But let's say camp. Jewish camp in the wooden area. Yeah. Sure. That's a dangerous also, thing. Also, yeah. You have these animals come again. It's Mutal Hargam. You, you don't have to ask any questions. It's Mutal Hargam. Yeah, like the guy but, to... They're the, not running after you. They're sitting there, harp, not doing anything. It's Mutal to kill them. Bisham Ezekim. Bisham Ezekim. We're going to Nochash for Akrav, which are Mazikim. We have before the name Mamisim. For Mokim, she ain't done Mamisim. In a place where they don't kill, then it depends. If they're running after you, then you're allowed to kill them. If not, you're not allowed to kill them. We saw before that Seder, which is interesting, I'm not sure what the chilek here is even. Seder, we said even though it's not Rotsan Akharov, they're allowed to do Seder, they're allowed to capture them. The Chashem Akravim. To kill them, it's also Moloch Shach Rikha the Gufa, you're not allowed to kill them. Unless it's Rotsan Akharov. Then you're allowed to kill it. Even though both Molochesh and Shrikha the Gufas by their rights. Molochesh by Akriv, it says Mina Nitzoid. So you're capturing it. Yeah. It's a Mina Nitzoid. It's a Molochesh and Shrikha the Gufa by Nitzoid and their rights as Mutter. For some reason, to kill them, you're not allowed to kill them even though it's a Molochesh and Shrikha the Gufa. I'm not sure why. I looked around a little bit Shabbos, but I didn't get a clear reason why it is that way. Why Misa is different, could be they made more Xeris on Misa, but Misa is also. Kill is also. But, I will not tell the doors of the Fitumoy, if I fill up in the Shavin, I will shamar atma kill the Mechavin. You can make believe you're just walking, right, and step on it and kill it. Even though you're Mechavin to kill it. It's a Malach Shatri Chalagufa. So to go ahead and head you and kill it, we don't let you. To go ahead and step on it, as you're walking, even though you're with Afghan walking, you have to step in it and kill it, it's mutter to do it on Shabbos because it's a malacha she'ain't to rechel the Does one have to be careful when walking to shul? Their ads crawling over the sidewalk. <laughs> you have to be looking down the whole time. It's, it's a good question. That's a good question. <laughs> you know, if someone sees these ads, they have to avoid them. They have to avoid them. Oh, you have to they have to kill it. It's a malacha she'ain't to rechel the gufa. Even though it's a malacha she'ain't to rechel the gufa, but they have a lot. Now, if the outside is not tsar for anybody, so what's that to, to step on them, right? And even that we said before, even Mokim Tsar, killing them is also. So does it require you to look, be looking down when you're walking? No, you're not uh, to look down. You're not to to look down when you're walking. You're not to look all the time as you're there and You see, yeah, it's just, you should definitely avoid it. Yeah, after a rain, there's the, the, the worms. worms. On the yeah, the worms. Yeah, you should definitely try to avoid them if you see them. I have a chiv to to, to look down, around, hold on, looking no, down. No, you don't have a chiv to look down the whole time to make sure. That that's, that I think the person called that a misasik baalm. If I'm just walking and there happens to be a bug there, I don't see it, 
You don't have a chuyif to go ahead to look to make sure there's no bombs every time you're walking. What's the translation of misase? Huh? What's the translation of misase? Misase, how you say Dealing with English. Dealing with the... Yeah, dealing with... No, no. Some misase means... or something else. No, no. Some misase... Asik means... Misase means... Yeah, I'm doing something else. For that, I'm not even doing it. Uh, it's a, it's a, an example is if you think you're going to be attached something that you did yeah, in Uber. Yeah, it's, it's not a problem. It's not so. when the game of what's happening, I'm not doing that. I'm busy with something else. I'm doing something else. This thing is nothing. I'm not doing that action of Bechlal. The head of means... So indi- indirectly, is it say... Yeah, I'm not, sure, I'm not sure exactly how it ties to what in in... in the, the real type is you're busy in yourself. But the, the way the terminology means, Misasik means that if I'm doing A, and I don't even know B is there, yeah. I'm, I'm doing it. Yeah, B is not even on my radar. If I know it's there and I, I don't want to do it, then it's coming. But if you don't even know it's there, then it's called a misasim. I'm doing something else, and that's happening by itself. It's not nothing to do with me. So it could be walking when there's animals, when there's little bugs on the floor. You don't have to check constantly if there's bugs on the floor. They do speak about if you want to leave your house and you see there's a whole chasana of ants in front of your house. <laughs> And you want to walk out? You can join them. And then you you know for sure you're gonna step in them. That, that could be a shaman. If you know for sure you're gonna step in them, that could be a shaman. Because uh, you're, you're gonna kill them for sure. You're stuck in your house, so it's a question. What you allowed to do? It's stuck in your house. And most of it could be a tsar. You're stuck in your house. So we're walking to tsar, and I'm after to kill to kill uh, to kill bugs. Okay, says the Morgan of Rome here, but I feel a bit of a you're doing it if you're too much, I feel the Rambam, sorry, it's our camel dover. You have to know why according to the Rambam, it's mutter, the Ram holds, 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 the Ram the Ram holds, 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 the Ram Mutter the dirt of the chash the current of fashions. Suffolk the quark and fresh. Avadavash a mamis la oilam, something that never kills, even though it's mazik, according to the Rambam. Pshita the osa the dirt of the Rambam. It's also to step on them according to the Rambam, because the Rambam holds the lochash ain't sweet and the gufa is chayiv. So the mice will be not passing like the Rambam. Unless you say that it's, it's going to be misasik. Yeah. But here, it's the, same the same header you gave last time. You can give, give now also. We no, we explained the Rambam. We explained the Rambam last time. There's no malachas. Right. It's Sasek. It's Seder. Yeah. Why not? Why not? I missed it didn't say it. Why not? It's the same, it's the same thing. Right? It's, 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 you, you can still find it for the Rambam the same way. Yeah. I hear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And he said it. Okay, I'll tell you why I said that. <laughs> because last week, I don't remember, we spoke that the point of the Rambam is misastic, right? Yeah. Right. Capturing, because I don't, I don't need the capturing, I'm not doing the capturing. Right. right? It's misastic. It's head to misastic. Now, we spoke then why we put out a candle. Mm. Right? We asked the question. Right. Someone asked the question. Yeah. We'll we put out a candle. We'll also, it's misastic. I don't, need the, I don't need the candle. If it's kachasal in there, I, wa- I want to save the candle to use it for something else. That's called Mosh Machik al I don't need the pram, I don't need the ashes, but I want the candle. Look, let's see how the the um, the putting out the candle because I, I, it's dark in the room. Right? I mean, it's I, and I'll throw out the candle afterwards. Right? I, I don't need it. So that's what we call the masasik. Why is that different than doing tzeda, capturing something? Because I don't, I don't need the hide, and it's a That's what we ask them. And we, so we explain that the difference is that. That's the malacha. That's the way it's done. He also said that that's the way it's done. Also, no. Say that you capture. I'm capturing. That's the way you do say that. I don't need to say that. I don't no, need to say that. But it's still a malacha. The question is what. It's also a malacha. Putting out kibbutz is a malacha. Putting out a candle is a malacha. Usually kibbutz because you want the pchamim. Yeah. Hey, you don't want the pchamim. <laughs> I don't want the pchamim. I don't want the, the ner. I don't want anything. I just want it out. Why is that different? Then, wanting the the the, the nachash captured. That's a question we left over last week. Mm-hmm. So I didn't just ignore it. I tried to do some research to figure out Terry said the and I couldn't find a good answer. So I did go to Rabbi Miller and ask him the question. 
I said to him, you know, if, if it's Chumas, after the court of the Rambam, so where do you draw the line? So he says, it's only a din in Seder. Malachas Seder, the way the Malachas Seder is, it's not called Seder if you're not doing it because you want the animal. But Kippur is a Malacha by itself. Putting at the candle is a Malacha by itself. The way you want it, what you want it for, is for the Pachamah, that may be. But that itself is a Malacha putting it out. So, Ekein Seder, 